Looking for something fun to do here in Sarasota? Something that all ages will enjoy, from the kids, parents, and even grandparents. No matter if it's raining outside or just too hot to go to the beach. Well, today we're gonna take you with us to the Moat Laboratory and Aquarium and show you what makes it so much fun for everyone. All right, we've got this coin. And we're trying to get down here. Oh, well that stinks. Oh no! A jellyfish! Well... <laughs> with That Florida Life, and we're here to help you live that Florida lifestyle you've been dreaming about. Whether you live in Florida and are looking for fun things to do, planning a trip to Florida, or even thinking of moving here one day. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our helpful Florida videos. The Moat Laboratory and Aquarium is located on Lido Key, just over the causeway from downtown Sarasota, and it's a popular attraction for both locals and visitors to the area. It's open every day from 9.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. You might assume the moat facility is just an aquarium, but it's actually so much more than that. First and foremost, the moat is a world-class, independent, nonprofit scientific research institution. And the aquarium here in Sarasota is also home to a real science laboratory. It all started back in the 1930s when a little girl named Eugenie Clark visited an aquarium and developed a real passion for marine science. Dr. Jeannie, as she became known, paved the way for women and for marine science throughout her life, even scuba diving for scientific research well into her 90s. She truly was an impressive woman. Today, the moat has over 20 programs running around the world, studying things from sharks and dolphins, red tide, human cancer, sustainability, and so much more. Visitors young and old can have a lot of fun while indulging their curiosities here at the moat. With touch pools, hands-on exhibits, fun interactive games and activities, and windows into the actual science labs. Here they say science is the attraction. Plus, there are some super cute animals, some strange animals, and even some downright scary looking creatures. And kids will have a blast at the moat. It's a wonderful place to spark their imaginations through learning and fun. However, it's not just for kids. Adults, or big kids at heart, as we like to say, can have just as much fun here at the moat. They have a real hurricane simulator that you can step inside to experience the winds and the craziness. And they even have a really cool interactive shark tracker where you can go on a computer screen and select sharks from all around the world and monitor them in real time and even see the path that they've been traveling. It's really cool. There are many different exhibits here at the moat that actually span multiple buildings from sharks, to manatees, sea turtles, and even river otters, which are the absolute cutest things ever. I could seriously watch them play all day long. You can also learn about Florida's bays and habitats, as well as coastal creatures. They also have a virtual reality experience, as well as Fossil Creek, where you can search for shark teeth and see a sample of a giant megalodon shark jaw up close the largest shark to ever exist. The moat also has special events and exhibits throughout the year, and you can even go on some really cool eco tours out on the water, including the moat boat and kayaking tours. Weekends and holidays can be a bit more crowded, so if possible, try to go on an off day or during the week if you wanna avoid some of the crowds. Also, make sure to buy your tickets online in advance. They only sell a certain number of tickets with specific entry times. So you'll want to grab yours in advance so that that way you don't have to wait in line and you can go right in at your time. Also, we recommend that you spend at least a few hours here to be able to fully enjoy the exhibits and explore. Families with kids in particular might want to plan on spending a good part of the day so there's plenty of time for fun and interaction. 
And when it comes to the weather, you don't have to worry. If it's raining outside, a lot of the exhibits are indoors, or if they're outdoors, they're covered. And this is the same for if the sun is really shining and if it's super hot outside. You can always go inside to the air conditioning, and when you're outside, a lot of the areas are covered to give you some shade. If everyone starts getting a little hungry, no need to worry. The Deep Sea Diner is a restaurant that's right on site, and it serves up some great food to keep everyone's energy level up. To learn more about visiting the Mood Aquarium here in Sarasota, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.